You know, what just occurred to me, I forgot the FCS games for this week started tonight with number 20, South Dakota taking on number 4, North Dakota. That is right, that is in about 10 minutes from now from the time of this recording, so I realized, I was like, wait, I got my days mixed up. The NBA video was supposed to go out tomorrow, uh, this video was supposed to come out today. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a fun, fun game. Both these teams like to take away the ball, and it's going to be, you know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun-ass game, let me tell you that much, between um, these two Dakota rivals. Um, now that's tonight. Tomorrow night, we get another rank. Hold up. Tomorrow night, we get another ranked versus ranked matchup in Albany. And New Hampshire. Now, this game could actually eliminate a team from playoff contention. You never know. Uh, quarterback Jeff Undercuffler from Albany. He, he had 41 touchdown passes in 2019. Can he keep it going? Um, what about those Wildcats in New Hampshire? Well, they can force turnovers too. Evan Horn, he's a big guy. Big guy, big guy out at safety. You know, and I mean, you know, the Wildcats went six and five in 2019. But hey, you never know. You never know with this team. On Saturday, of course, Dion and Jackson State taking on Grambling State. You know, Grambling now holds the longest winning streak at home in the FCS. And this is going to be a fun game. I'm going to watch this game especially. And you know, Dion and company, they've been going through some things the past few weeks, of course. You know, they had a game canceled last weekend. They got a coach fired from their job, you know, after beating them 53 to nothing. And, you know, yeah, there, there's that. So, I don't know, some stories have been making it all about Grambling. I mean, all about Jackson State, but you never know what Grambling can bring. Remember, they've been... They've been one of those teams that have represented the SWAC West in the SWAC Championship the last few years, so you never know. Also on Saturday, number 15, Illinois State, number 3, Northern Iowa. Yes, another Missouri Valley Conference matchup. Both teams are very good. I've seen Northern Iowa play already. Illinois State, I have not, but it it is, it is going to be fun. It is going to be fun. James Robinson for Illinois State. He is going to be the workhorse there, but, you know, Northern Iowa, Northern Iowa, man, 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 they are a damn good team as well. Both these teams, you know, it's also going to be about the turnovers as well, going to be about those turnovers. What about, what about New Mexico State? What about little old New Mexico State? Well, taking on Dixie State this week as well on Sunday. Um, I don't know how that game is going to go. If Dixie State beating up on Tarleton was any indication, I think New Mexico State will lose this game as well. It's, it's going to be rough out there. And, of course, you know, other conferences are debuting this week as well, like the Northeast Conference, you know. Again, the rest of the SWAC debuting. And one game in particular for the NEC right now on Sunday which I hope to watch. If not, then that's okay. It'll be Sacred Heart and Duquesne. It, it is going to culminate for the NEC in a championship game, the very first ever. You know, both these teams are picked to win. You know, you know, both these teams are picked by many of their um, coaches and assistants and whatnot to either win the conference or come close to winning it. Uh, the Pioneers have Julius Chestnut, so he surpassed 100 yards in about 12 straight, you know, 12 of his last 16, you know, so this is going to be, you know, one fun matchup. Both these teams, you know, again, could meet again in the conference championship game on April 11th, and those are the five, those are the six games, you know, people really need to look out for this week. I totally mixed things up. Um, of course, there's plenty of other games out there as well. Some have been canceled, of course. And, you know, some have, you know, gotten a little bit weird. And there has been some controversy, like with um, 
with Youngstown State's athletic director. He's been banned from, I believe he was banned from something. I don't know what he did to get banned, but yeah. Whatever he did was not pretty, which is why they banned him. So, uh, lots of games to highlight, you know, this weekend. It is going to be a fun weekend, you know. Let's have some fun with this, guys. And I'll see you guys Sunday afternoon, you know, or Sunday night, rather, to talk about this weekend in FCS football. Enjoy the game tonight, everybody.